We're out here in our saturated coal germ plot on May 6th. This was planted on April 13, intentionally in front of some pretty adverse conditions. We knew even though the soil temperature was 56 degrees at two inches, we knew that if in 30 hours to 36 hours, it was going to be extremely cold. In fact, it snowed. And so this temperature went from 56 on the day it took its first drink, it was 32 and a half degrees at two inches. So the two rows I'm standing in had a saturated cold germ of 99%. And you can see the effect, even though it took a cold drink, we have over 33,000 with a 34,000 drop. We have 33,000 plants and they're spaced every six inches. And you have to admire the way these guys were able to come up in some really adverse conditions. So this is row eight and row seven. When we jump over two rows and the row six and five, a totally different story. That saturated cold germ, even though it's a tremendous genetics, was 44%. Startling when you think it could be that low. There it's quite a different story. We're eight and a half thousand less plants or eight and a half thousand less ears so we're looking at about 60 bushel difference. So I'm excited to follow this through the season and see what kind of an ear count and how some of these late emergers are really reacting. Let me dig one for you and show you what I mean when it takes a really cold drink in a 44% saturated cold germ, what happens to that seed? We're digging here in these gaps and you can see we have a seed every six inches. This seed was placed and this is a classic when it takes a cold drink, you can see he's wrapped all the way around the spike and he's actually coming through underneath. So he's totally confused. This cold water came in through the pericarp, scrambled the germ in here. And so we talk about having eight and a half less seeds per thousandth of an acre. For 24,000 stand, this is exactly what I expect to see. So not only is he not going to come up, we actually gonna have a hole here and one ear less. So let's just go ahead and dig a second one here. So we know that every six inches, we're supposed to have a seed. Let's see what we can find. So we'll just carefully dig through here. Now this guy is gonna be, he's struggling. You can see that he didn't actually curl over this time. You can see we got a seedling root, but this spike's not gonna make it. He's definitely behind. So by the time he would come out to his neighbor here, if there's two collars difference in emergence, he just becomes a weed. In the genetics, that was a 67% saturated cold germ. Once again, a classic cold drink. You can see this spike is starting to curve over. It's struggling to reach to the sky. And so this is why we take and send our seed to the lab. We empower ourselves to win, understanding that this seed is not gonna be able to handle the kind of conditions the 99% was. This is all about yield and ear count. 